Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I am going to talk about all Ethermon. Now, as a reminder, guys, Ethermon are NFTs. These are real assets that you could trade and sell for real cryptocurrency, of course, which you could, again, trade and sell for money, whether it be uh, uh, US dollars, whether it be uh, the Chinese yuan, whether it be any currency around the world, doesn't matter. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys about the 3D battle mode how to maximize your time, guys, so you can play to earn, maximize your time. Your time is very, very valuable. So I'm going to show you some strategies and how the battle mode works, but also how to maximize that and make it in your advantage. Okay, guys? Now, if you have any questions, guys, don't forget it. Uh, ask down below in the YouTube comments. If you guys uh, have 100 likes or more, I will go over more details on how to sell and, 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 and your Ethermon on OpenSea and all that kind of good details. Now, hey, don't forget to also subscribe down below in the YouTube channel, guys. I do post a lot of videos about Ethermon, stocks, uh, NFTs, uh, the central land, all the good stuff. So you do not want to miss any of these videos, especially if it's something that you do. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go over all the details, all the steps in one second. All right, guys. So let me uh, share my screen really quickly so we can get started. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, I am already logged in in Ethermon. Now, what I want to show you guys really quickly is my collection of Ethermon. Now, these are all NFTs. I did just recently purchase these four NFTs. I did have to uh, buy them with Ethereum. Uh, if you guys want me to make a video on how to do that, hit the like up button, 100 likes, and I'll do that. Um, or also let me know in the, in the comments down below. But the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because you have to kind of strategize in terms of what NFTs you want to build, you want what, uh, which uh, NFTs or what uh, Ethermine you want to build so you could sell in the open market if that is your strategy. I am building Hamster right here. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys. Now this is going to be my OpenSea account. Uh, you guys can see, you guys can see the same uh, Ethermon. Again, these are NFTs that I could, you know, turn around and sell in the open market. Uh, and like I mentioned before, I do have hamster right here. I've actually already put it for sale uh, for 0 0.5 Ethereum, which right now is around $1,200. I haven't got any bids or any, you know, any bids, anybody who, who's interested in buying it, but I am going to continue to uh, level this up. Right now, I do have an on -chain, on off chain level of 20 out of 100. Uh, and this is the way to build this is through the, the 2D battle mode in the actual website, which is right here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys right here. It's actually through here, but the uh, what's called the on-chain level and experience. Now, the only way to build my Ethermon is gonna be through the 3D battle, 3D battle in the wild, which is in the central app. Now, I've already logged in to the central app because it does take a while and it uh, takes a lot of bandwidth. Uh, so I've already done it and it's right here. So. If you guys can see, I'm already logged in. And like I mentioned, guys, before, I am trying to build Hamster. Uh, and here it is, Hamster. Uh, so I'm trying to build this because I am selling it for 0 0.5 Ethereum. So what I make sure is every time I'm logged into the central land that I am maximizing my time to build this Ethermon, to level it up so I can maximize. Now, the first thing that you notice when you see this Ethermon, you have to look at the levels. Right now, is 100% health, but energy. I could definitely use some more energy. And right now it's hungry. The, the reason why I know it's hungry is because it's got a low bar. You know, when it's full, that means it's not hungry. Now mood is kind of a little bit moody. <clears throat> the, the better mood it is, the better it's going to perform. So I've actually already planted uh, some, uh, some stuff on, the, um, on these uh, garden boxes. I planted some cabbage and I'm going to give it to, 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 uh, to hamster so I can feed it up. So if you guys can see, I'm going to give it to him right now. He's eating it right now. And you see hunger and energy literally skyrocketed up. The mood went up. He's feeling good right now. And that's exactly what I want because I'm going to battle it. So I want to make sure that it's, it's, in a, it's at its best to perform. Now, I, do, I also planted a carrot. So what I like about this, um, uh, this uh, location, 58, negative 24, is, uh, is because it has two garden boxes and I can literally plant uh, garden boxes at the same time. Actually, I'm gonna plant one right now. 
Uh, so I can plant this one and I'm going to plant, you know, I'm going to plant this, uh, this cucumber. Now this cucumber does take two minutes to grow. Uh, so in the meantime, Hey, I'm going to go get this carrot. Cause I did plant this carrot earlier and I'm going to get this carrot and I'm going to feed it to a uh, hamster. So where is hamster? Actually, I'm going to feed it to another ether mine. Cause I believe this carrot has a lot of energy. Because the other Ethermon that I want to train is actually one of the new ones that I just recently bought. So I am going to go choose my Ethermon that I want to train. And it's uh, this one right here, CF uh, Furball. Uh, so I'm going to give some to her, actually. She looks pretty good. Uh, let, me, let me change it to another one. I'm going to give it to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I call this Ethermon Kendrick Lamar now. He's doing pretty good. His energy is kind of low. That's the only thing. Let me see Scabbers. See how Scabbers is doing. Uh, okay. That's doing not too bad. Let me see how Wiz, Wiz, Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa is doing. Okay. I think Wiz Khalifa could benefit more from uh, this carrot. So where is Wiz Khalifa? Where are you, my brother? Where are you? Where? Okay, there it is. So these four Ethermon, I do want to build because I, I, I may sell them in the future for more Ethermon. So actually... Where is the carrot? Okay. Oh, I think, you know what? As soon as I click the, uh, 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 you know what? I, I think I made the mistake. As soon as I click the character, it automatically gave it to the other character. So I think it gave it to Sia Furler already. So yeah. Um, so this is the, the what, what you gotta be careful guys is as soon as you pick up the, uh, the, 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 the garden, the food, and then you come around and switch characters, it will literally feed that character. So that was the mistake I did. So it already fed this character. See how the energy was lower and see, and now it already went over here. Uh, and if you guys want, you guys could, re, you know, you know, uh, rewind it and see that in the video. And, I'll, and, and again, it will show you. Uh, so let me see. Uh, I do want to get some energy um, to ham, hamster because, again, I am building it up and I'm already having a sale. So let me uh, look at hamster right here. And let me pick up this uh, cucumber. Yep. And I'm going to feed it to hamster because I'm uh, literally about to battle it right now. So right now it's eating it. And you see how some of the energy bar went up. So that looks good. And um, so let me, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I could uh, plant uh, some more stuff. I'm going to, now this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to plant. Um, let me see. There you go. I'm gonna plant a beets because beets actually. The cool thing about beets, it literally only takes like uh, uh, five seconds to grow, which I like. Uh, let me see. There you go. So I'm gonna plant two beets, and I'm gonna give them. There it is. This one's already ready, and I'm, I'm gonna feed it to hamster. Because I want to make sure he's at, at his best top performing shape. Okay, so this one didn't, didn't give it too much energy. It gave it some energy. Because I want to make sure it's at top performing, you know, space so I could battle it and he's, he's doing good. All right. So it, it, it did increase his movement a little bit, increase his energy. All right, so let's get ready to battle. So the strategy to battle, this is where it comes very important, guys. As you notice, guys, hamster level is one so i don't want to battle some of these uh grass limes there are too high of a level because if i do i'm most likely going to lose and get my butt kicked so i want to win and to increase my probability win hey i want to battle other ethermon like these grass slimes they're at the same level as my ether on. so if you guys could see this one right here this one is a level one so i'm going to battle this one so all i have to do is click on it where are you going So I'm gonna press attack. So let's begin the battle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the, the first, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna use a throw. And the reason why I'm using a throw is because they're not close to each other. So when you use a throw, um, you know, it could be far away and, uh, and it could definitely uh, still be beneficial. You could still uh, get that, that, um, you could say that those points. Actually, let me see where is, oh, there's hamster. 
So let me give you, give you guys a better view of the a better view of the battle. So there you go. So there is a view. See, so that's a better view right here for you guys. So. So for whatever reason, the throw button is not working. I want it to work. There you go. Got it. So this is where it gets tricky, guys. So I'm going to go with a double damage. Okay, the battle's over. And it looks like it won. And I got whatever this is. And then there's a little bag right here. See what this bag is all about. Okay, I got a silver ticket. Sweet. So after I finished the battle, I got a silver ticket because um, it looks like I won. So that's good. Uh, one other thing you want to mention is every time you get a silver ticket, and I got a mark. So I get a silver ticket and a mark. And I'll show you guys in a bit what that means. Uh, so you guys can see over here on the left, the silver tickets, the more silver tickets that I get uh, in the future, I may be able to exchange it for some stuff uh, in the Etherman world. Uh, and also I get uh, automatically, uh, automatically uh, enrolled in a, uh, a raffle, then I could also win some uh, Ethermon. So you do want to collect as much as possible, whether it be marks or silver tickets. So, all right, so that battle went well. Uh, looks like I won, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look for another another um, you could say another another slime and see what I could find. So this one's a level nine, so definitely don't want to battle that one. That was level ten. So nope. This was level two, maybe. Let me see if I can find out level one, level seven. Nope. Level six. Nope. Level three. Maybe I like the level two better. That was three of three. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna go for level two. So, okay, here's level two. I'm gonna see if I could begin this battle. Where did you go? He's right here. There he is. Tack, there you go. Okay, let's begin this battle. And let's do this. Now, let me change the view so you guys can see the battle. I'm actually a little bit confused. Where is this battle happening? There it is. There it is. Okay. So I'm definitely using the strikes. So I like the throw because... <clears throat> so this is how you know who's, who's, high, who's, who's, who's made a move. So you'll know by right here. Whoever made the move, you'll see the, you'll see the little the, the face of that character. Now, I could do dual double damage and then do a throw. And for a reason, you're not able to see the character, but he's somewhere over here. So I'm going to, again, do double damage, and I'm going to do the throw. Okay. And I'm going to do, let's say we could do, now, I'm going to try to invade an attack. And I'm going to do a throw. Okay. Okay, so this is the one that I'm hitting right here. So these are the two. This is mine, and it's the one that I'm battling right here. You guys can see that. Okay, I know it's, it's, it's confusing, guys. I know. I know, trust me, guys. I know it's confusing. It's kind of hard to see, you know. Um, I'm doing the best to give you guys the, the best view. Okay, the characters are right here. Okay, there it is. There are the characters right there. There you go. So you could do, a, a, I'm going to do a claw strike. All 
Okay, so you'll know what is doing by the the names of. Let's see. Double damage. Ooh, 116 points. <clears throat> so this is where it gets confusing, guys. You know, this red here, what this means is that once you hit that level, because see how it takes a certain energy, 160. So you literally have to have above 160 here in order for you to use the throw. See, I'm able to use the throw. And every time it uses this, it, it, it uh, all right. So what happened here? Woo. So that's pretty much over okay so what happened here okay so my hamster it looks like it's let's see how it's doing <clears throat> so battle was over and I don't think I won that one because I didn't get any, any silver ticket or any bag. So that's how I know I didn't win that one, guys. But it's still a battle. It gives me experience. It gives me on-chain experience. And it helps me at the same time to level up my Ethermon. Now, I am going to give it... I'm going to see if I could give it some more... I could say... Yes, let me go back to... Sorry about that, guys. It's, a, it's sometimes a little bit hard when I'm recording and everything. It's a little bit hard to get everything. So I am going to get a uh, cucumber. I'm going to plant a cucumber. Let's get this cucumber. Okay, so planted the cucumber. It's going to take two minutes. In the meantime, I am going to switch... Ethermon, I'm going to go I'm going to go to Sia Furlough Okay it's one thing I want to mention, guys, is that when you have a lot of things open, it does slow down, doesn't require a lot of bandwidth. I am recording this video. I am also logged into Ethermont and also to um, the Central Land. So just keep that in mind, guys. So right now, I have already clicked on see a furlough. So you guys can see now I have this new Ethermont because I am going to battle it. And I'm going to see what we can do. Okay, so I am going to look now for another slime, another grass slime that's a level one, so I could battle it. If not level two, I want to see where we're at. Okay, there it is. Come on, baby. Click. Tack. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, I want you guys to see this battle. And I'm going to use a throw. There you go. So the throw. Now I'm going to use... I'm going to see if I could use double damage. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a throw again. Okay, got it. 
So I'm going to continue. I'm going to use a strike. Okay, I got it at the strike. And I'm gonna use a claw strike. I'm gonna wait to at 600, actually. There you go. Boom. Cross strike. I'm gonna use a throw. So as a reminder, guys, this uh, the central line is kind of slow, guys. I know it could be kind of confusing to see what is going on with all this. Um, just be patient, guys. I know at first it is confusing, but as the more the more you play it, the more it will make sense. So just keep that in mind, guys. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a double damage, and I'm gonna use a the air the throw. So double damage, what it does, it doubles you up. It doubles up your, 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 your thing. So when you do hit someone, you, you, it, it does double, double the damage. Um, now they try to hit you, you can click a defend. And this could kind of defend you. Um, double damage, rock throw, you could throw a rock too. So I'm going to defend. And I'm going to see if I could throw a rock. Ooh. So what happened here? I'm gonna go follow it. Where did it go? I'm not done with you, baby. It's right there. I'm not done with this guy's level two. I already beat level one, so there's really nothing I could do. Wait, what does it say? Not enough what? Sorry about that, guys. Not enough. <clears throat> so let me see what it says. Not enough life. Okay. So it looks like I don't have enough life to keep battling. Uh, see a furlough. So I think I'm done for at least battling for today, guys. One thing I want to mention, guys, when it comes down to, to uh, energy and uh, how do I get these cucumbers, how do I get all these, you know, energy and health and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, I got some over here. Let me see what I got over here. Oh, 12 marks. Sweet. Um, you know, you get it by digging. You know, like, let me show you an example. Okay, so I have Sea Furlough right here. If you click on here on this explore, what it, what it will do, the ether mine will dig. And when it digs, a little green bag comes up. And then that green bag, you pick it up, you click on it. And, and what will happen is you might get a, there you go. You might get a beet seed, you might get a carrot, you might get, uh, you might even get a silver ticket. It just depends. So let me, let me switch ether mount. I'm going to go back to uh, hamster because I am building hamster and I want to see if I can battle it again. Uh, let's see. Where's hamster? Where's hamster? Where's hamster? There it is. There it is. I got hamster and now I'm going to pick up that carrot or that cucumber. Excuse me. Yeah, 
and I'm gonna give it to Hamster so he can eat it. So hopefully get some energy. Where right, Hamster, where are you? Come here. See, he's eating it right now. See some of his health, energy uh, went up. His hunger at least went up. His health is not looking so hot. So his health is not good. His points are zero right now. So I don't know if he's gonna be able to battle. So, sorry about that guys. So let me see if I could plant something else. If not, I might just put it asleep. If you guys could see, this is a, a, a snobbit that I put to sleep because he pretty much exhausted all energy. Uh, he was pretty much done. So I may just put hamster to sleep. Uh, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. So I'm just gonna go here, click here and sleep. So put it to sleep in five hours, 23 minutes, he'll be fully recovered, full health, everything. Uh, so that's what I like about that. I may even do the same thing with, um, with uh, Sia, just because, um, I mean, see that zero energy? You know, that's what you know when they we can battle. So you see that zero on top of their head? That means like, hey, this Ethermon can no longer battle, man. So at that point, what you want to do is put him to sleep. So I see six hours, 36 minutes, put him to sleep. Let them grow, um, you know, their, their uh, you know, so they let them get their energy again. So they able to battle the next day. See, I got a new Ethermon. Now I got Kendra Lamar. I also want to build this one. So let me see where Kendrick Lamar is. He's right there. Right now, it's still loading. Doesn't you can't see it right now? But let me let me have him follow me, and then you guys will be able to see it. So there you go. He's right there. See, there you go. It just takes a while to load up. So there you go. So you see that twelve hundred on top of their head? That's how much energy health they have to battle. So it is a little confusing, guys, because. I know here it says health is literally zero, but they have 1,200 health, and that's enough for them to battle. So um, it is confusing, guys. I'm not going to lie, guys. So you have to understand the differences. So uh, let, me, let me see if I can battle this guy. This, this is the guy that I battled last time. He's, uh, he's level two. So and, all right, there you go. My tech, tech, tech. Come on. There you go. Okay. Battle begins. Let's start this. So you see, every time he hits me, it takes a certain amount of uh, power. So yeah, this guy is all right. So I got him Okay, so I'm gonna do the double damage. See how my, my numbers are going down? Once it goes zero. See 14, like my, mine is like way low, man. Like he's hitting me with like big numbers, man. I'm like barely getting him with like seven. Let me get a double damage and get a strike. Seventy seven. Ooh. Damn, now I'm negative 52. Okay, this one is done. So, looks like my uh, Kendrick is done. Kendrick Lamar is pretty much done. Uh, I may be able to have it um, 
have a dig. See if we could dig. Where is it digging? Watch it. Let me let me have him follow me. Okay. So it's not able to dig. So not enough energy. So I'm just gonna put it asleep. So now it's sleeping too. And again, I have 26 ethermon, and I could just go down the list and battle them all out until I run out of ethermon and or until they all fully recover. Um, you know, so as you guys can see, guys, the more ethermon you have, the better because you're able to battle longer, you're able to get more points, you're able to pretty much do a lot of stuff, guys. So um I hope all this makes sense, guys. I know it's a lot. It is a little bit confusing. And also the battle, 3D battle mode, it does lag a little bit. Um, again, that's only going to get better over time. But, you know, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know below in the YouTube comments. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. I will be posting more videos on Ethermon, the Central Land, e NFTs, uh, stocks, et cetera, guys. All right, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.